The materials you'll need is, of course, the, the cyanotype paper, a box about the, as big as a uh, hand soap bar, something sharp and thin like this needle, some lightproof electrical tape, tin foil, and some scissors. Wait, this is me in the future. Don't forget uh, this card, which fits snug in the back of the camera. See, like so, so we can slide the put the cyanotype paper on there and slide it easily in and out when it's done exposing after a month or two. So first, what we're going to want to do is prepare the uh, camera case. And if you can see right there in a few of the corners, you can see light entering through. So you're going to get some black tape and cover that up. Like that. And after we're done, we're also going to seal the front, but not yet. We have to put everything inside. Now we're going to prepare the lens. So what we're going to want to do is get our little piece of tin foil, and then we're going to cut it into a fair size. I'd say about half an inch on all sides. So then what you're going to want to do is get your needle or your baby diaper pin thingy and just dab a hole through it. And here we go. And if I hold this up to the light, you can see light shines through it. Okay, so what we're going to want to do next is cut a hole smaller than our lens right here, in this, right in the middle, so we can uh, put the lens right there. Now, here we have our hole, and now we're going to put the lens on, on top of it. Now, get your lens and put it right on top here and get strips of paper like this big and place it on all four sides. And voila! There you have your lens put on top. Now here I want you to imagine something. Imagine the light bulb in my garage is the sun. And here we have our lens. The light enters through that. And right there in the middle, you see that little white, that little yellow white dot? That's the light bulb being projected onto there. And this camera's not good enough to see it, but if I'm looking here right now, I can see the details of the light bulb. Brightest light possible. Shine all the flashlights and lights you got on the cyanotype paper when taking it out. I'm just kidding. When taking your cyanotype paper, you want to be in a shade, shadowy or a very dim lighted area. Preferably if you have a dark room, use that, but I don't have one. Once you're done with that, get your cyanotype paper on the backing and slide it on the bottom of your camera. Okay, so now make sure that inside you have your backing stuck down. And if it's, not, if it's loose, I put some tape on the bottom so whenever I shake it, it doesn't move around. Now we're going to close it up and make sure it's light proof, make sure everything inside is flat. And I'll close it up and now we're going to apply some tape onto it. Now going into an open place space like my backyard, find a place where you can tie your camera, which I have right down there face down, on somewhere in the backyard, say handlebars, that gazebo, or something to hold it down, but since my dad finds anything in the backyard, he considers it trash, and he throws it away, so I found the best place to put it is underground with its face sticking. Now, in order to prevent um, the camera to get destroyed and let light and bugs and water and anything into it, I put the camera in a jar. See in this clear area, the, the light will still go onto it and no bugs will be able to go to it, and I also pasted it down with some electrical tape, so now I won't move. And here, I've made my hole, and it fits perfectly. And here, as you can see, I buried the camera, and now that I realize, I can just tell my dad not to touch this, but I already just buried it. And you probably can't see it very well because the glass is shining, but the angle is being pointed this direction away from the wall. 
in exactly 21 days, I'm going to pull the camera out from its grave, and then I'm going to pull that out, and we're going to see the picture develop. And I hope you can wait that long for the next 21 days, and thank you for watching. Goodbye. Also, go down into the description to see other people's results after they tried the same thing I am about to do.